Now let's move on to our perpendicular lines. So a perpendicular line forms a 90 degree angle and the slope of one line is the negative reciprocal of the other. That sounds really confusing, so let's look at the picture first and then we'll look at the numeric values next. So you can see that these perfectly make a 90 degree angle. But I don't want to stare at two lines, measure if it's a 90 degree angle. I want a more efficient way of just looking at the equation and identifying if the two lines actually form a 90 degree angle. What if it's like 89 degrees? What if you had to graph everything? Like that can be very cumbersome. So if you'll notice, this slope is a 3. It's a positive 3. If I put this over 1 to find my negative reciprocal, this is the sign for perpendicular. You want to flip it and change the sign. So if I flip it, that gives me one third and change the sign to negative. So positive three, negative reciprocal would be negative one third. And that will give you that perfectly perpendicular line. So let's kind of look at an example of what we can do with that. And just like with parallel, we've got some steps. You want to find the slope of the given line Determine the negative reciprocal, so the slope you need, substitute, simplify. So here's the given line. It has a slope of 3. If I want the one perpendicular to it, I'm going to go ahead and put it over 1. If it's not already a fraction, flip it and change the sign. This one was positive, so the new one would be negative. This is the slope I want to use for working out my equation. Now I also want to go the point, through the point 3, 0. So this would be my x1 and my y1. I'm going to start with my point slope form. So I write my equation, rewrite it without the letters I'm about to plug in. Y1 was 0, M is negative 1 third, X1 is 3. Make sure you read the problem. A lot of students know how to plug in, but they just take the 3 and they don't realize that they're looking for perpendicular. So I'm going to solve it out. So Y minus 0 just gives me Y. Distribute gives me negative one third x plus one. You're multiplying negative one third times negative three. Use your calculator or what you know about multiplying your fractions. And then this gives me y equals negative one third x plus one. My equation of a line perpendicular to the given one and going through this point. If you need any extra assistance on this section, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you along the way.